We have been waiting for the next version of MIUI since what seems like eternity now. But well, it's finally here. Xiaomi recently previewed the MIUI 9 update and the company has just rolled out the very first closed beta. Well, we have got our hands on it, so let's talk about all the major MIUI 9 features, shall we? What's up guys, this is Rupesh from Vibam.com and today I'm going to talk about 10 new MIUI 9 features. We have been using the China ROM of MIUI 9, so some of the features might not make it to the global version. Before we get started, make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's talk about MIUI 9 features. Everybody seems to be making smart assistants and well, Xiaomi does not want to be left behind. MIUI 9 brings a cool new smart assistant. While it's not a Google Assistant alternative, it does include a Google Now-like page on the home screen. Like Google Now, Smart Assistant brings you various cards for weather, apps, etc. Also, it includes a very cool universal search feature, which lets you search for anything on your device, be it apps, notes, contacts, or even texts. Well, the Smart Assistant in Mi UI 9 is a handy addition indeed. I've always liked the customization options in the MIUI home screen. And well, MIUI 9 makes it better. One of the biggest changes comes in the way you move multiple apps. When you select multiple apps, you get a preview of how they'll be placed in the home screen pages. Also, uninstalling multiple apps takes fewer steps, which is something I really like. The widgets page gets a makeover too, and it looks very similar to stock Android. Also, when you tap on settings in the home screen, you get options to change the transition effects the ability to lock the home screen so that nobody can make any changes, autofill to place new apps in an organized manner, and the more option that brings you to the launcher settings page, where you can easily change the default launcher and toggle a few other options. Overall, I really like the home screen changes in MIUI 9. Android Nougat brought split screen multitasking last year, and well, MIUI 9 finally brings split screen multitasking for Xiaomi users. To trigger the split screen mode, Tap on the Recents button and in the Multitasking interface, you'll find a button on the top that says Split Screen Mode. Just tap on it and drag the app you want to use in Split Screen Mode to the top. Then you can choose the second app to run side by side. Well, the Split Screen Mode works similarly to Nougat. And there's support for double tap to switch to the last app. I also like that MIUI tells you which apps don't support the Split Screen Mode yet. What I don't like is, there's no way to trigger the Split Screen Mode from inside an app. Well, it's finally here. MIUI 9 finally brings bundled notifications and I could not be more happier. Now all the notifications in MIUI 9 from the same app are grouped together like in stock Android. You can use a two finger swipe gesture to reveal the notifications individually. There's also support for inline quick replies from the notification itself. Well, for a stock Android fan, these additions are certainly welcome. There's something new as well. You can swipe left on a notification to see the unimportant option, which allows you to group notifications that you want to mute from different apps. Well, all these changes certainly make the MIUI 9 notification shade a whole lot better than MIUI 8 or any previous MIUI version. At first look, the MIUI 9 lock screen looks almost identical to that in the MIUI 8, but just swipe right and you'll find a brand new page showing you all the Xiaomi connected devices via Mi Home and a shortcut to the MI remote. There's also a flashlight icon which may come in handy in certain situations. I haven't found an option to customize these shortcuts, but hopefully Xiaomi will include an option in the future. MIUI 9 might not bring a revamped UI, but it brings three new themes. So what's not to like? No boundary, color fantasy, and cool black. Well, all of them are pretty good. I really like the no boundary, aka the limitless theme which brings cool minimal icons and a colorful flat wallpaper. Well, other than that, you get the massive theme store like always. MIUI 9 is super sleek. And while that is due to Xiaomi's optimizations, the cool transitions too make it look snappier. There are some subtle changes to animations, but I really like one particular effect. When you open and close an app, the app icons animate, which isn't really a big deal, but it looks very, very cool. Let me show you again with the phone app. See? It's really cool, right? 
Now this is one feature that hasn't made it to the MIUI 9 beta we have been using. Reportedly the feature is exclusive to China users. Well, Smart App Launcher will read the information in your screen to recommend you apps that you might want to use. For instance, if you're talking about going to a place in messages or any other app, the Smart App Launcher will recommend you Google Maps and other travel apps. It also brings you contextual info based on what's on your screen, similar to now on time. This is another feature that hasn't made it to the first MIUI 9 beta. But apparently, image search will bring features similar to Google Photos. For instance, you'll be able to search for photos based on location, people, expressions, etc. Well, it's exactly like Google Photos, but in the MIUI gallery. MIUI Labs is to MIUI what System UI Tuner is to Stock Android. That's right. MIUI Labs in MIUI 9 will apparently feature some experimental options and settings. Right now, it has a Trigger App Stapless feature. And I have no idea how it works and what it brings. Hopefully, MIUI Labs will include some cool features in the future that I actually understand. Well, other than that, MIUI 9 also brings system optimizations, resulting in faster app launches and overall smoother performance. Well, those were 10 new MIUI 9 features you should know about. If you want to try out the MIUI 9 beta, do check out our article on the same in the description below. Also, let us know your thoughts on the MIUI 9 update in the comment section below. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.